Japan now, where recently discovered secret government documents have shed light on the practice of forced sterilization, which affected thousands of people with mental or physical health issues. The procedure was carried out under the now scrapped eugenics protection law. It was adopted after the end of World War II and was in force up until 1996. It permitted sterilization to, quote, preserve the purity of the Japanese race. And the newly revealed archive records pertain to nearly 3,000 victims, some of whom are now taking legal action, and we spoke with one of them. I had a hard time going through the middle school. One of the teachers took me in as a caretaker at his house. There, I was constantly abused by his wife. I never got enough food, never got paid. I never had the chance to see the official papers to back my diagnosis either. She hated me. My teacher took me for a medical check and then I was taken to hospital. He didn't explain anything. When I woke up, I was thirsty, but they told me not to drink water. That's all I remember. At home, my parents told me that I was operated on, and now I cannot have babies. My father didn't agree to the operation. He was forced to sign documents by my teacher and welfare officers. I had many chances to get married when I was young, but after the operation, I felt inferior. I married and divorced and married again. My husband left me when I told him about the operation. The committee further recommends that the state party adopt specific measures aimed at providing all victims of forced sterilizations with assistance to access legal remedies and provide them with compensation and rehabilitative services. should make apologies and pay compensation to them. If I was not forced to undergo the operation, I would be happy. I know I will suffer until the end of my life. If only I could go back in time, but I can't. The woman's lawyer told us that the fight is far from over. As he says, the Japanese government is turning a blind eye to the problem. Two and a half years ago, I received a call from Ms. Suzuka. It was the first time I'd heard about this matter. We found out that people were taken to the facilities and forcefully operated on under instructions from the government. It was a whole organized system. Japan still has a problem with ideas on eugenics and those who claim that disabled people have no right to live. Some psychiatrists have started speaking out about the things that they did back then. Instead of taking their licenses away, I think it would be better to ask them to bring their confessions to light and open up the issue. Now that we're discovering the truth, we need to make those responsible apologize for their actions and make sure the victims get compensation. It's clear now that the main problem here is the Japanese government continuing to ignore the problem and advice from the UN. Japan is not the only country that had at some point resorted to forced sterilization programs inspired by eugenics. Among the notable examples are Germany during Nazi rule and Sweden. And both countries have since offered compensation to the victims.